Welcome to Splash Page, a conversation over the drawing board. I'm your host, Noah Enso, and it is a pleasure. Today, guest will be Tim Jones, the creator of Sour Grapes, which is syndicated in 42 states and counting. Today, we talk to him about the distribution of his comic strip, how it got started, and, how, and what he does, the process of getting distri- distributed. <laughs> distributed. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's a late night. We also talk about his enthusiasm for the upcoming event of Rhode Island Comic Con, which is November 3rd through November 5th. All that and more today, right now, on Splash Page. While you're here, please hit the like and subscribe as we got more interviews along with reviews of books, comic books, and video games, and television and movies. And with that being said, please enjoy. Are you coming to Rhode Island? Uh, no, I'm stuck work. I'm stuck at work, unfortunately. So all weekend. I- yeah, man. <laughs> I got a, a lot of work to do here. Plus, I'm still working on this site. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Speaking of, how the, how's the comic strip working out? Uh, it's going good. Um, I've got it in uh, 40 newspapers. All right. The, uh, the new compilation book that's coming out. Um... I should have it the middle of October, which is this month now. And uh, so, so far, so good. And um, for those I know, explain sour grapes to people. Explain it. Well, I'm still trying to explain it to myself, but um, basically, uh, Aesop, who's a miserable flying dog, his pet Cloud Ominous and their off-center friends um, and it kind of follows them around in their uh, daily daily lives their struggles their um, problems and that and uh, makes light of all that stuff so um, Aesop find, usually finds himself having to um, not solve people's problems but just kind of giving them a best answer that he can in his own miserable way. How do you come up with that character, actually? Oh, Aesop's been around for a long time. Um, it's just one day I wanted to have a uh, a dog character for some reason, a long time ago. Um, wanted to make him special, so I put a cape on him. And um, then I made him miserable because uh, that's kind of how I am sometimes. <laughs> People say, oh, he's you. You personify Aesop. And I usually say, thank you. Um, and uh, so that's that's basically, you know, how I came up with him. And was it hard to sell him? Or try to go to your first newspaper? Um, uh, let me think. It was at first um, when some when Aesop first came out and and the characters they they were in a strip called Every Blue Moon way way back in the late nineties early two thousand and um, I got it into six newspapers at the time and um, that lasted for a couple a couple three years um, and. Um, you know, it, it seemed to do okay. People people liked it. It was you know, it's a, it was at least if anything different. Mm-hmm. And um, but I couldn't really sustain it. I really didn't know what the strip was about. Um, so I decided to um, stop that, and I took it out of the papers and um, just kind of went along life. Got married, had kids, um, and then. Um, 
time went along and 2013, 2012 came around and um, I had gotten laid off from my job at the time and all of a sudden I had all this time on my hands. So I decided to bring Aesop back but in a different light um, and call the strip Sour Grapes. And um, the rest is history. All right. Oh, and Aesop, when he was in Every Blue Moon, he didn't fly. Uh, when I brought him into Sour Grapes, I decided to make him fly. You know, it was it, it just the the writing changed, and the, the writing has changed since since then too. Fast forward to 2023. You know, the past year or two, um, I really landed into uh, um, how I want to, you know, to write the strips and uh, really come to know the characters enough where I know how to write for them and what um, how they um, relate in the strip and that type of stuff. So. Um, you know, now's now's a good time to, uh, you know, to sell the strip, and so I've been I've been lucky. I've gotten into, like I said, 40 papers across the country. So um, I must be doing something right. People really seem to like it. It's got a great following and stuff. So um, you know, go figure. Well, continue, Sassy man. So what goes through the process of, cause it's a daily pay, cause it's in the paper, what, five days a week? No, it's a weekly strip right now. Sure. It's in weeklies and, um, which is enough, trust me. Um, okay. and, uh, and it has been for a long time. Um, does that, weekly papers are market, I believe, I think is more, or and I found is stronger than the big newspapers because they're independent publishers as opposed to these big corporations that are buying up newspapers and putting them in one big group. Uh, what's what's one of them? Gannett is one. Um, the, there's a bunch of big uh, big groups, corporations that are, that are doing that. So the weekly papers are, I don't want to say easier to get into because they're absolutely not. I get hung up on a lot when I call. So that's what I do. I call up for the editor and either have a nice conversation or it's a really short one. You know, if they like it, they'll, you know, they put it in the paper. Um, I'd say six out of 10 times that happens. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm giving it a good, uh, a good ratio to get it into you know a big like around here the big paper is um, you know the Boston Globe or the Boston Herald or the Providence Journal they're all owned by big companies um, and so you have to go through them which is impossible um, and if you contact if I'm lucky enough to contact the editor they'll tell me that you know they get their comics from uh, the major syndicates because that's what the corporations buy so they'll buy say it's a King Features syndicate um, page so they'll buy a whole page of King Features comics and that okay. includes the comic the uh, the crosswords and all the other stuff that comes with that page so um, so I can't really, you know, be in with that. But there are papers that I'm in now that I'm thinking of it that have a national, uh, a major syndicate page, and they put me in another one. Oh, so it, so it can be it can be done. Yeah, you know. I, so I mean, your stuff is your, tell, your stuff is really good. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's funny. You know, I don't see you post on Instagram as much anymore. I like. Um, I I try and post on there as much as I can on Instagram now. I I really like Instagram too because it's a good showcase to put things on, and then you can automatically share it to Facebook. So I've been actually using it um, a little more. Um, 
learning how to do the stories and um, he can do all kinds of fancy stuff with those with my new my new book that's coming out middle of October I should have it here in the middle of October I'm excited that I'll have it for Ronaldo Comic-Con um, I titled that so god so doggone miserable how many pages of the book do I have oh it's got like 72 pages uh, original do original stories or a little mix and mix it's, it's a compilation of strips like a lot of the a lot of the comic comic strip books you pick up it'll, it'll, it'll have a, a bunch of um, sour grapes uh, episodes in there okay and um, I put a a copy of a sneak preview um, cover of a comic book that I'm working on, first ever, for an upcoming first ever comic starring Aesop and Ominous. Um, and it's just a black and white um, copy of the cover right now. And um, it's inked by Rich Maurizio, um, who's a very talented cartoonist friend of mine. Um, so we'll be working on that together. It's kind of slow going right now, but um, you know, it'll happen. Well, we'll I don't do anything quickly. Hey, take your time with Ask it. Ask anybody. I just ask that you come back here so we can talk more about it. That's right. In the project. My um, yeah. I mean, my um. Ask anybody. I'm I'm the slowest person in the world. I mean, my, my kids were finally born, but, you know, that took time. So, do your kids also draw? My youngest daughter is a gra just graduated with her bachelor's in graphic design, so she's just um, starting out with that. She's been taking on some freelance jobs right now. All right. And she's really, she's really talented. They, they're, they're both, my oldest daughter lives in Ireland, and... Um, she has her master's in film, uh, but she can draw pretty damn well too. They're both very, uh, very creative people. Um, so we got that, we got that going on between the three of us. Awesome. Well, I want to also thank you for giving me when I was on the Angry Geeks, giving me a shout out on Sour Grapes, also. That was pretty cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I try and, um, you know, give shout outs as much as I can with anything I do. I, I'm really, really psyched for Rhode Island Comic Con, boys. November 3rd through the 5th. All right, so what you got planned for Rhode Island? Um, I'm going to be with the National Cartoonist Society once again. All so right. We'll be, we'll be in that big booth on an end cap. Um, right in the middle of the place. I'll be with um, Mark Parisi, Emily Druin, Dave London, Don Mathias, Dave Milgram, uh, Bill Walco, all all on NCS members and stuff. And we're sponsored by Wacom, which you might be familiar with. And um, so they give us a couple of expensive tablets to put on the table. And then they give us a huge monitor to put behind that so you can see us draw. All right. Well, I'm familiar with Wacom. Fortunately, they're, they're the Mercedes Benz of the, of the tablets. Say. So, yeah. You know, I have a Huion. I mean, no, I have an XP. And I guess um, scraped up the money to get the iPad. Mm -hmm. But I, would, I do want to get a Wacom one day. Fatigue. Well, I have, I don't know if you can see this. I have this one. If I can lift it up or not. Everything's backwards on this. Man, hold on. Let me turn my thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, can barely, barely. I can't get it all on the pick. Oh, there we go. I can see it now. I can see it now. Yeah, that's a 13 inch. Um, Wacom Display One, O N E, and um, 
I use that exclusively for the strip. That's where I do all my my coloring and finishes and all that stuff. I mean, I, I draw the strip, I actually draw it. Well, I can show you, wanna see? Yeah, sure, of course. This is how I start. Yeah. All right, explain your process, please. This is my process. I hold the page up like this. No, I um, I kind of uh, pencil and ink like this. You'll notice there's no borders. There's no the the wording is is pencils mm -hmm. in that. And um, so I'll draw it and then I'll ink it just like this. And um, all the corners I'll make like I'll kind of draw those. I don't know. Maybe you can see it in this one. See the little corners? Yes, I see it. Right. So I do that. Yeah, yeah, playing video games. Um, so is this like a storyboard for you, or? Well, this this is the actual strip. Okay. That's how big oh, I draw it. This is big like eleven. I, this is fourteen by seventeen, so it's a little smaller than the than the thing. But I um, I'll scan that in once that's done. That part's done. I'll scan that in on my twenty-five year old flatbed Canon flatbed scanner you know we probably got the same one because I can't find that <laughs> I can't find it. I'm, I'm serious I can't find it anywhere I think we got like I think we got antiques like the last of the other you know the scan the yep. comics, <laughs> because everything well, else is just like teeny weeny you know I gotta I gotta chop my image in half to, to get a whole whole thing yeah. uh, oh uh 11 by 17 done also no this one stays with me to like uh now i'm old and buried guess what it coming it coming with me buried too i probably won't be able to find one in the afterlife <laughs> <laughs> well i if it's scanned into photoshop and i have photoshop extended cs3 okay which is I... really old kept it i've never I've never upgraded because it just works, you know. I'm looking into uh, Clip Studio only because I draw in Clip Studio. I uh, mainly color in Photoshop, but I'm leaning Photoshop is expensive as God knows. But, so Clip mm -hmm. Studio is one and done. So it just I'm more used to Photoshop. So I'm trying to uh, not be stubborn and. I'm looking up tutorials on how to color in Clip Studios, but um, yeah, I feel like I have Photoshop also. You know, it's just it's just convenient for me. That's how I color my pro my projects. That's cool. Yes, I mean, and then I I have to do a black and white version of the strip, and I have to do a color version. So that's you know, I do all that in uh, Photoshop. You know, because I, I save it as a hybrid J, JPEG there and so on and so forth. So, you know, that's 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 the way it's done nowadays. It used to be um, when I had the strip um, every blue moon years ago with the six papers. That was, they were local papers. So I would literally have it drawn and on there and shrink it down at the news i would go to the newspaper go right to their xerox machine stick it on there and shrink it down to the to the size that they needed and then i would hand it to them and i would do that for every newspaper every week so i'm driving around once a week bringing them bringing it because they didn't back then there wasn't email that's how long ago this was there was no email there was no me sending it off to them and stuff like that so um and then they would literally cut the and paste the strip and uh did that for two or three years and that was that was a lot of work you know, so nowadays it's just email you know yeah. so that allows mm -hmm. me to be in papers wherever i want to be do you write scripts also or do, like or do you just like kind of draw as you go um Nine times out of ten, I um, I write and draw at the same time. Okay. But um, there are times that I'll already have something that um, of what's going to happen in the strip, 
that week, then I'll, I'll kind of have a, a good idea of it, and I just have to kind of work out, work out the joke so it's at least somewhat funny. Hopefully, this is the good thing about doing a comic strip. You don't know if anybody thinks it's funny because you can't hear them, you know. So it could be a bad joke, but but you don't know if anybody's not laughing or going, oh, you know. That's a good thing about this. So I go on Facebook and see how many likes I got, and I'll just assume that those people think it's funny. Well, you got one person that thinks it's funny, too. So, <laughs> I, I, I guess I count. Well, um, I, think, I think this week's will be uh, about the uh, a person's pronouns. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll just leave it right there. You know what? I, I like you already. <laughs> I do. Well, I, you know, a Constance is in the strip. Um, she's, um, well, there's Aesop and, and Ominous. Ominous is Aesop's pet cloud. And then there's Maddie, who's his um, friend. And Constance is Maddie's uh, little sister. She's like 16, she's a brat, she's a bitch, she's got her arms folded all the time, she's just angry, controlling kind of girl, thinks the world revolves around her. And uh, so she's she's having um, uh, issues with, with her pronouns this week, so we'll we'll see how that, that works out. I want to ask you something. Oh, man. oh, what started, what brought up the cloud, the pet cloud? Well, I don't know. I do actually. I do know. When I used to draw Aesop years ago, I used to always put a cloud with, that would follow him around because, influenced by uh, Eeyore, who would sometimes have a cloud raining on him. Mm. Um, Igor so, as Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, yeah, Igor, and uh, not Igor, but Igor, and um, so. I kind of, I was, I was influenced by that, and I don't know, just time to time I would just draw it up with the cloud for some reason, I didn't really think anything of it. Um, and time went along, I brought sour grapes along, and, you know, Ominous was still around, but I still didn't really have him as, um, you know, as a character, per se. Um, and I had a... I had a character in here, his name was Slice, he was an orange bear, and um, I took him out, I just didn't really, I couldn't really write for him anymore, um, so this is a few years back, and Ominous was around, but I never really had it tagged that Ominous was Aesop's pet cloud, and then I just, I was like, I gotta bring another character back to replace him and stuff like that, so I was like, I thought outside the box and I said, well, what if I made Ominous a main character? Who, who would, you know, who would suspect that? And I was like, okay, Aesop's got a pet cloud. You know, Aesop is a dog anyways. You'd think that he would be somebody's pet, but he's not. So I figured I'd give a dog a pet. And um, I put a collar around a cloud and a leash and then voila. Got a pet cloud, and um, he's a smart athletic cloud, and you know I, I try and put him through um, human human like situations and that, and uh, you know thinking that just because he's a cloud doesn't mean that he can blame things on climate change, that type of stuff. So, um, so yeah, that's that's basically, and he's I, for some reason he's become a fan favorite. You know, everybody loves the ominous. So, um, well, my mom's my mom stole the shirt you gave me. She rocks it around the house all the time. Okay. <laughs> I was looking for it one time. I like, where is my shirt? That what shirt did I give you? It was a it's a it's a, it's a shop, sour grape. And, and it had my man that had the ominous cloud. And, you know, it's a black and white shirt. It's a gray shirt. I'll take a picture of it. Oh, a gray shirt. Okay. Yeah. It was the last time at the, I was at the Rhode Island. Since you're talking about it so much, it looks like I am making a trip to Rhode Island. Yes. 
Oh, now I'm you gonna, are? It looks like I'm going to have to make a trip out there. Uh, I got to find out what day it lands on and I'll uh, put some time on it. And make it work. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll be there all three days. I can, and uh, but, I, I can't wait. Well, I, 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 I'm looking forward to see the weight comes up front. Up close. Is, is it the 31 inch or? I know the 30 inch. Yeah, it's inch the up. big one. It's the big one. Right. You know, I want it every time we do it. We've been doing it for three years now, and I, every time I just want to walk away with one of them. Oh, man. Let me tell you, I haven't seen I see them on TV, and I mean, I see them on the internet. I'm like, yes. I have it on a wish list on my Amazon. <laughs> I'm like, one well, day, like, one day. They're like two or three thousand dollars for God's sake. Like, one day, one day, one day. I want to hit the lottery. Yeah. And when I do, I'm hit. I'm adding it to the cart. <laughs> I know the couple of the guys that are going to be there use those exclusively. Well, not exclusively, but to do their stuff, you know. So yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I'll be looking forward to see you then. Okay, I look forward to it, man. I'll buy you lunch. You have to introduce yourself because I forget what you look like. Uh, you know, there for that, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say I'm your biggest fan and get an autograph T-shirt. Now walk, <laughs> now walk, boy. All right, y'all cool. Think? Are there gonna be any? Are you guys gonna have contests? Like, are you guys gonna do like a like a challenge of the artists or something? Or, you know, you like, know, count? we they did um they did a quick draw. Yeah, quick draw um, a couple of times, but for some reason I wasn't part of that, um, which is fine. I'll forgive them. Um, but we be- didn't do it. We didn't do it last year. We didn't do a panel last year either, which I was really disappointed in. Why that? Um, well, I think we did one one year, um, the year before that, um, just out not during COVID, but the, the show after that. And not a lot of people came, so it was kind of like, you know, why, why bother? And, um, but I don't know that it was advertised very well. So maybe we'll have one this year. I, I don't know, and I, I don't know about the quick draw either. That that's a lot of fun. I don't know if it, that they have the. I don't know that they have the chops to do a quick draw, but. I give it my best shot if I do. Tim, you are you are an amazing artist. So I'm more than confident. If you do the quick draw, you would definitely hear my voice cheering you on. <laughs> Thank you. And I, as we're talking, I'm looking up Rhode Island Comic Con right now. Oh, you know what right. I got? You want to see this? Go for it. This is the cover I told you about that's in the book. It's Aesop. That's a evil scientist that he's that he's punching and it's about um ominous gets um kidnapped and asa has to go rescue him because this guy stole him to get to steal ominous thunder i love how asap is just like down. just so like looks so uninterested in this fight like i can handle you with a paint i'm gonna knock you out <laughs> yeah, he's not he's not overly uh overly zealous about anything, which is basically me. Which um, bring me next you know what I remember our next question. Have you looked into animation? I think a look I've I've um I've had so many people talk to me about that. Um it's not even funny. I, I don't. I wouldn't even know where to begin, to be honest with you. I mean, I didn't think ASAP would be Sour Gravy would be a pretty cool five minute, five minute sketch. You know. Yeah, I mean, that's. I'm definitely down with that. I just, you know. Happy, um, happy. I mean, I don't want you to um, give away too much information. Well, I mean, have people been come, emailing or calling you or meeting up with you saying, "Hey, we're interested"? Or, no. no, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, been lucky enough to have that happen to me yet um but you never know you know you gotta you gotta be more visible i guess um you know thousands of people are, are pitching ideas and that to these places like you know, yeah nickelodeon or cartoon network or wherever and um so i i really want to have i i gotta i gotta do it in steps you know, 
I told you. Um, I want to. I want to get into another uh, at least in another ten papers. Mm-hmm. So hopefully that happens soon. And then um, I'm also working on a couple other things. And um, you know that every Comic Con something happens too. You meet somebody. That's why I do them. Okay. Well, one, yeah. of the reasons why I, one of the reasons why I do them, and you meet people, and um, one thing leads to another, and then boom, you know. You got a connection. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. So. Like I said, you, um, you, you talked me into going to Rhode Island. I'm I'm very inclusive here. Like I'm around people so much at my regular job that when the weekend comes, I'm just in the house. I'm drawing. I work on this. I work on this channel, and you know I'm. I'm I'm at peace, you know. But yeah, hearing yeah. what you say, yeah, I could go up. I could I could stick my head out on the show every once in a while. So yes, people, I will make my way out to Rhode Island Comic Con, which is I want to say November third. I have it booked. November third to the fifth. November third to the fifth. I year. wish they would stick it on Thursday, but you know, because it's gotten so huge. I've been hearing. I'm looking at this. The roster. Goodness, they got, they've got a hundred guests at See, least. I'm not, I'm not big on Hollywood celebrities, but I'm looking at the voice actors. I'm trying to find a, the comic book artist. That's the one I want to look at. That's the one I'm into. They're, um, it's in the guests, and then you go to artists. Yeah, I'm at the, I'm at the, I'm at the Instagram right quick. Of course, that's what they're going. That's how they're going to sell with the celebrities. So. Oh, I thought you were on the site. No, I could, I could go to the site though. Look, pretty sure I know who's going to be the artist. Let's see. I know Ron Mars is going to be there. Christopher Priest. Yes. It's. I am currently reading. Uh, his Superman loss. He can be there. Christopher Priest. He uh, well known for his Black Panther run. Oh, and he got this new Superman book called Superman Lost, and it's not getting the the, the credit the credibility it should get. I mean, it is good. It's it's unorthodox for a typical Superman comic book. I'll say that. Dennis Cohen. Oh, I'm looking at it now. Who's um? Who's that? Alex. Alex. How that's it. Yeah. Uh, Dave Dorman. Jay Lee. Yep. Well, we got Jason Keith. Keith Williams. Oh, the oh Lincoln. Keith is everywhere. He was at Springfield Comic Con. I, I couldn't make it. Damn it. He's at every single one. It's hysterical. I love Keith. Uh, Jim Salakrup. TA Me and Ninja. Co-creator himself, Kevin Eastman. Oh yeah, you're not gonna be able to get near him. Oh, uh, I'm. I, I just Ron said, Mars is coming. Said the name. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, we'll Some of these him. guys, I don't, I don't know who they are. Scott, Scott Hanna, Hanna is gonna be there. Yeah. Um, Simon Bis- Bisley. And then us, us goofballs are in here somewhere. Where are we? Yeah, where are you guys? We're on the Crazy. page somewhere. I'll be here. Uh, uh, come on, Brittany and Art. Yeah. What do they take us down? Uh, once again, who is gonna be with you in the national? Say the name again. It gives us. It has us a long. The time. National Cartoonist Society is gonna have Mark Parisi, um, Emily Druin, Dave Milgram, Don Mathias, Bill Walco. And yours truly. Tim Jones. And you might see me walk around, but Tim doesn't remember what I look like, so I'm not going to say, I'm not going to tell him. I'm just going to walk over there, get an autograph book, and walk away. And get myself another t shirt since my mom took mine. <laughs> I will get you another one. Uh, she ain't getting this one either. Fine. But, Tim. I said I want to take, take up too much of your time. I want to enjoy the rest of your day. I do appreciate right. you being my... You are... Dose, you're my second guest. Yay. Thank you. Thank you for doing this for me. 
Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Uh, and uh, hope to see you soon. All right, man. Take care. Thanks for having me on. All right. Later. Bye-bye. Once again, I give a shout out to Tim Jones, everybody. Make sure you visit his website. Check out the check out the comic strip. Check out his links. Make sure you support the books when they come out. And you see him at Rhode Island Comic Con. Tell him no one so sent you. I also want to give you a round of applause. Yes, you. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you. Splash Page is a Proud Chief Son production. We are, you can find me on Twitch at Noenso Doodle. I'm on there Monday through Friday during the afternoon because I do have a day job. You can also find me on Instagram, TikTok under Noenso. You can also reach me at NXO Splash Ent at gmail.com. If you have any comments, suggestions, or you'd like to be a guest. If you want to be supportive to figure out how the Patreon works, you can reach me at Coffee where I do commissions under Noenso. Links are all the links are, are attached to the, to the video. Or you just want to drop a little something in the pot. You, I have a cash app. This is, you know, and also please hit the like, sub, come also hit the subscription because I'm also going to be doing reviews and more interviews come. I'm also, I do reviews on comic books, video games, movies. This is a fun project I want to do. I mean, I do this honor my father. You know, this is one of the things he wanted me to have. He wanted me to have my own podcast. And so here I am. And I thank you for your time, for listening. Hope you enjoy, hope you enjoyed it. There's more to come. Until then, peace and blessings. Till next time. Give me another round of applause. You all deserve it. Take care, everybody.